Hey guys, it's Van now. Welcome back to Pokemon Blue. In the last part, we fought some more trainers. Oh my goodness. You know what's the worst part? I think there's no hidden items. So you think like a gap like this is worth it, but no. You gotta go around here. left of that post? Okay, sure. Except I gotta fight this dude. He always goes with a burn, Pokemon! With a bird! With four birds, even. Oh, gosh. Well, we're doing the same old clamp clamp thing. He does no clamp. I shall demonstrate clamp. It's a bit weak. It's okay. It's actually like rap, except it deals more damage, and it's water type, which is actually pretty nice. Wait. Wait, hold on, what? Really? Clam Clam can just hold his own in a fire? Okay, sure. Sure, I'll do that. I'm okay with that. I do. I would like the other two to, to get to where they needed to be, but... Because Vigiotto is clearly going to outspeed me. Although well, they're all level 26, these four Pokemon, so... Maybe. But Movie's one level away. And Speed V's not too far behind. Why do they all try Whirlwind? Interesting choice. Thunder Wave! So yeah, so Clamp is basically rap except it um it does more damage. And also it's water type. So yeah. It was actually kind of interesting, because I'm surprised it worked that well, you know, when you compare it to friggin' Moopy, who's like six levels higher. Ah, uh, he hasn't evolved yet, but then again, Cloyster hasn't. Oh, sorry, I'm Shoulder Acid. I haven't seen Cloyster yet. Keep going! Keep going! So now I have two Wrath Pokemon, yeah! Yeah, that's how you fight. Bam bam. Sparrow. Ooh. Wait, it's a sparrow. Okay. I'm, I'm fine. I'm fine. It's just a sparrow. Moopy, I'm, I'm cool. Oh, apparently both the items are hidden. I just... I'm an idiot. I didn't even note that. Okay, sure. What else did I miss? Did I miss anything on the road above? Oh, gosh. This is what I hate, I'm, I'm like popping stuff down and sometimes I put the fact that it's coming up the front, sometimes I don't. For example, there are hidden items. Oh no, there aren't. There aren't. I'm, I'm, good, I'm good on that, on Route 12. Just not on 13. Keep clamping! Keep clamping! Keep clamping! Keep, keep, keep clamping. The accuracy, by the way, is 75%, which isn't... Too brilliant. But, you know, he hits through the five times, so pretty much. Pretty much it's good. Uh, let's see, Firo. Yep, Moopy can totally take down a Firo. Actually, no, I'll, I'll link that to Speedy. I mean, Speedy still needs like a thousand something left. A thousand forty. Nah, blah, blah, blah. Go, Speed V! You can do it! I believe in you! Quick, quickly attack the Firo. Firo doesn't have too great of a defense, so... It's just Firo has got really good attack and it's fast! Though Speed V's faster, so... If you outspeed it, that's one thing you don't have to worry about. Except he's using Growl. Mirror move. What's the point of using Mirror move or Quick Attack? Seriously. He's using my technique! It's my technique in a nutshell, except he knows Screech. The Fury Attack, yep. It's totally my technique. Oh my goodness. There we go. Hooray! 
So the thing is that there were two items and I completely didn't note the fact that they're hidden. Uh, so apparently... I don't know, Bulbapedia changed this stuff over the past year, because I... There you go, there's one. PP up, which is always nice, and... It'll be over there, wouldn't it? There you go. Calcium! Those are the two hidden items. Those are the only two items, even. And, yeah. I just never noted that. There's still quite a few trainers left. You gotta kinda go around these two people over here. You can actually keep going up. If you really want to. And head to the... In fact, yeah, if you have cut on you, you can pretty much skip a lot of this route. But, then again, if you... There's no point doing this. You may as well just head down Cycling Road. It's so much quicker. The wind's blowing my way! Does that help? I don't know. Does it actually help you, or...? He's a bird trainer. Bird keeper. Blue, blue. Blue, blue. So, yeah. Just a lot... There's a lot of trainers that have a lot of Pokémon now, and suddenly it's getting very annoying. Also, this guy hits me five times. Oh, you are cutting it close there, Spiro. Clam Clam, you can do it! Clam Clam, you can do it once more! Ah, oh, so close, Clam Clam. So close. Ah, uh, Moopy's got this. Spiro's pretty good, though. I would- I wouldn't- I wouldn't put down Spiro. Ah! Yeah. Oh, that's a wrap! Ah. Da 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 da! Pidgey, uh... I'll put out Clam Clam for a moment. <laughs> oh gosh. So yeah, so we are just fighting trainers! Yep, that, that's this whole place. And plus, when we get down to the other, to the other end, I just want to show you... Actually, actually, I'll show you a map of this place right now, on the side. Okay, so there's a map of Kanto, as you can see. I, I can't hit this dude. Uh, there's a map of Kanto. Do you see that flashing orange part of the map? That is uh, route 12, 13, 14, and 15. It's ridiculous length you have to go to just to get down to... To, uh, Future City. Good on you, Moopy. Another Pidgey. Oh my gosh. Uh... Keep going with Moopy. Moopy! Ah, Moopy got gusted. Wrap him. Why do you keep missing? This is, we got switched out. You think sand attack would crit? There's always a crit! Why is it always a crit? Seriously! Seriously! All of the enemies are getting crits all of a sudden. It's getting so irritating. That's a crit! That one was a crit! This is a Pidgey! Using non-crit moves! Jolteon should be getting all the crits. Because he's the second fastest Pokemon. I don't even know. It's faster. Oh my goodness! Why do we keep getting hit by crits? Clam Clam! Yeah! We just got 96 experience! Yeah! Spiro! Yeah! You know what stuff this? I'm just gonna stay out. I want Speed B to get a level. Oh no. No, this isn't gonna end well. It's a crit! It's a crit! Why? Why? Why is it a crit? Why is it a crit? I haven't even gotten a crit yet. Ah, oh, dang it, Fury Attack. Oh, thank goodness it's two attacks. Uh, Vice Crit. Oh my goodness. 
that was ridiculous. The number of crits that they got. I know. I know. It pins his bug side. But seriously. Ah, oh, no. Anything but growl. Because now I'm going to deal like two thousand of itself. Uh -huh. Oh no, no, it's going to vice grip me. You know, vice grip isn't that good of an attack. It's just the only thing I have, so. Holy snap. The wind turned. Ah, oh, sure. Whatever. So how much experience does Moopy still need? Because Moopy's on its last level that it needs. 2,557! Oh my gosh! That's just speed beneath. It's probably like 900 or something. 740, okay. A bit closer. Speed beneath still needs another level after that though, so... How much does Clam Clam need? Yep, Clam Clam needs a while. How much does Snoozu need? Because I've used him like a couple of times. Yep. And yet, and yet, Snorlax is still, like, the best Pokemon that I've got. I don't even know. Okay, so, I'll heal up, I'll be back. Alright, I'm back. Uh, there's so many trainers in this route alone. Like, that's the worst part. There's, like, a good 15 here. In this one route alone. Hold on, I'm actually gonna count this. This guy's a biker though, this is kinda weird. Uh, so you got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, forty. I counted fourteen. In this one route. That's ridiculous. Okay, come on, Moopy. Come on, Moopy, we just need you to evolve with your 69 health. I also need speed beat to do it. Oh! Maybe I should have thought this through. I think I had none of the Pokemon. Oh! Actually, you know what? Shell is probably the best option for this. I don't even know why I didn't think that. Because he's got high defense, so it's just like. This is the only guy who has a special attack right now. Moopy's supposed to get a special attack. Oh! 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 It's a crit and it's poison! I don't even. Clamp. I know I'm low level, so it doesn't really help a lot, but. Stuff this, snoozer just nah. You can't smog me. Okay, now. Okay. Is that poisoned as well? What? Okay, I'm just getting the worst luck right now. Well, thankfully these guys are good for experience, so you know what actually I'm gonna do? I'm just gonna send Moopy out. Just completely just let Moopy take this guy. Actually, not. It's gonna take forever. Snoozu, you do it. But I think I can get I can get quite a few experience points on Moopy. I just take this guy out. Oh no, tackle! What am I gonna do? Actually, I'm glad he did on Snoozu because I could just rest up. And yes, this guy... Is it me or does every single trainer that's not a boss trainer in some case has th has several Pokemon that are always the same level? Seriously, I think everyone in this game has Pokemon that are all the same level. Except for the boss trainers. So yeah. I'm actually gonna completely abandon, uh... uh well, not completely abandon, I'm just gonna stop trying to level up, um... Shelter right now, because... To be honest... To be honest... I'd probably get through this a lot quicker if I just got... Like, say, Moopy. Is, is 
good move or something. Stripped gears! Well, that guy just came out of nowhere. Uh, put Moopy up front, just so... My bird Pokemon! My bird! Double poison. You know, it's, it's kind of strange. He's the only biker on this road. You know, it would be funny if he said, Oh my gosh, I'm lost. Okay, Snoozu. So anyway, this is why Snorlax is the greatest thing ever. So, you're on low health. Okay, sure. You know what you do? You just use rest. I know you're slow, so try anticipating a turn ahead. But if I use rest... I'm suddenly on full health. I also suddenly don't have any poison. I, I do have to wait three turns. And yeah, that's kind of annoying when he hits my accuracy. But seriously, Snorlax has so much health that he can he can basically accommodate for that. And then he can just hit back with strong power. And then I sand attack. It's the worst thing ever. There you go. Look at this. I don't even need to try. This is just good. Spiro, uh, yep. Just send out Moopy again. I don't know how much experience Moopy still needs to level up, but... It was 2,000 before, so I'm gonna say it's about... 1,500? Close. <laughs> so it's 1495. Let's do a bit of math. Let's do a bit of Donkey Kong Jr. math. Can't use mirror movers to go first, man. Alright, so movie is now on... 1335? Okay. Maths. It's good. Oh gosh, I just suddenly got really sneezy all of a sudden. Yeah. Movie, you do this to me. Why you do this, movie? I don't want sneezy. Snoozer can sneezy. Snoozer can sneezy, but not movie can sneezy. See what I mean, right? This is the predicament that I'm in. Uh, so now he should be on 1185. Throw my maths in my head. Oh gosh, Fero! They always have a Fero. We haven't seen Pidgeot yet, you know. But Fero, yeah, Fero just chuck it about a few times. ridiculous number of Pokemon. Like, not only are there like 15 trainers in this one route, none of them have one Pokemon. So I've got to fight like 40 Pokemon in this freaking route. I think I have to fight like 100 on the way down. From freaking Lavender all the way to Fuchsia. Seriously, this is like... <sighs> you know, this is like the only time in a Pokemon game where you actually get a branching route. So you can head down the future two ways, so you can completely ignore the side passage if you really want to. You can completely ignore the cycling road as well, but... Uh, so I can't go up that way, so I gotta head down... There's a guy up there, so we may as well fight him. Seriously, no one would fight this guy. You need to use the TMs to teach good moves to good Pokemon. All of these bird keepers. So many bird keepers. Okay, come on, Moopy. Okay, so Moopy's got like a thousand spirits to go, right? 735, okay. He's getting it. Also, Clangheim's about to die, but yeah. Also, Headbutt only has 15 PP. That's not great. So you know what I'm gonna do? I'm actually gonna... It's got a Dodgeo. Have we seen Dodgeo? I think we have. Oh, there. It's listed in the previous route. Ah, oh, I'm doing things out of water. Oh my gosh. Uh, yeah, 
I don't think we've seen Dodrio. Okay, well in that case, Dodrio is a bird flying, bird flying episode. Um, he's uh normal flying. Uh, he, you know, he's got pretty good attack. He's got pretty good speed, and to be honest, he, his moveset's all right. So I say, if you want a good flying type, Dodrio is pretty good. He evolves at some point. I'm not gonna need to lose it for long anyway, so. Hey, yeah. Dude, Moopy's getting a lot of experience on this, dude. Pidgeotto! Pidgeotto! Okay, come on, Moopy. We need you to evolve, Moopy! Uh, let's not speed me. Speed Quickly attack! Yeah, just spam all when all you like. I don't, I don't care. Ah, oh, sand attack. Okay, stop sand attacking, please. I don't appreciate it. I got two crits in a row, so I'm okay. Yeah, this is why I don't like getting sand attacked. There you go. We did it! We defeated the evil Pidgeotto. We got a lot of experience. Yes! Finally! So this is what this was what I wanted. Moopy uh Dratini at level 30 learns slam. Uh I'm gonna teach her over Leah, because to be honest, I'm not using Leah. I really should use Leah. I, should, I really should have used Leah, but to be honest, I would prefer agility in the long run. Leah's only good because I'm using rap. But seriously, once I get my attack up. Also! Routine evolves at level 30. So this is why I was thinking, oh, do I need to get him at level 31? Anyway. He has now evolved into Dragonair, so along with his really good attack, Slam, which I'm about, I'm gonna use. He's got a lot more attack. Not a lot, to be honest, actually. Uh, but... Yeah. By the way, uh, if you didn't know, Dratini is the only dragon type in the game. His fa his evolutionary family is the only dragon types in the game, which is why they're kind of special. Compare that to Speedy. Look at Speedy's attack and look at its special. This is why I wanted an electric type attack. Oh my gosh, it takes forever. And just as a bit of point of comparison, here's Snoozer's attack. The speed is glorious. And also here's Grabber's attack. Grabo does have better attack than Snorlax. But Snorlax has the help, so. Uh, so yeah. Uh, there you go, that's fine, fine. So we're gonna fight this one last dude down here, because I think he's the last dude. I'll heal up, and I guess we'll check it out. Check out the next place, because there's two dudes. Uh, we're on sale, it's all but only a few people have HMs. I've only got three. Do I have three? Yeah, I should have three. No, oh, I got two. No, oh, I've got three. I've got three, because I've got Flash. I've got Cut. I don't think I've got string. Anyway, this is Slam. Why do I try? Seriously. Seriously, now Moopy can hold his ground. And he can keep using Rap. Slam's just actually a really strong attack. <laughs> That's pretty much about it. Also, 700 experience, oh my goodness. Uh, gotta give Speed V a bit of that, actually, because Speed V needs to learn his electric type attack. As soon as he does that, pretty much everyone except for, um... Except for Shelda can hold up. Because seriously, Speed V has the speed to get critical hits all the time. Pharaoh's just really fun. That was... Was that two crits in a row? Oh no, I just realized, the way they calculate crits in the first generation is that they only calculate it for the first attack. Which means that if your first attack is a crit, all the attacks are crits. And Speed V's about to die. Oh no! Okay, well Speed V, I'm sorry, you are not getting any experience. Grabo! Grabo! Oh come on, why do you keep using Growl? 
Now I gotta do this twice. I gotta do it a lot of times. Oh gosh. Oh gosh. The long, the long waiting when you get growled twice. Oh my gosh. Now I got lit. That's did that. Of course it's a crit when I don't need it. There you go, speed is level 30. Bummer, man! Uh, so anyway, so, Moopy is... I'm gonna keep Moopy on the back a bit. As soon as Speed V gets this next level, which is gonna be in like 2,500 experience. 2,693, okay. There's a trainer, right here. Hooray! He should be- I think he's hinting at the fact that you should have gone to Cycling Road by now, and I really should have, because I'm gonna go there and they're all like level 22. Instead of like level 26. You know, I should probably go there. You know, I'm actually gonna go to Cycling Road next, because I know you guys are like, are you working down? You just got through two routes. You know, Cycling Road's probably going to be better for practice, if I just do that, right now. I'm not going to be ready to go into self code just yet, with all of these level 20-something Pokemon. Granted, they're all going to reach level 30, which is fine for the most part, but... The, the boss trainer of Silphco, oh my goodness, level 37, half his Pokemon on. Speed B! I think. Oh no, all the people on Cycling Road are le level 20, they're the same level pretty much. And there's a rare candy. On Route 17. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness, Fury Attack! Fury Attack! Uh, uh, Fury Attack! Give Speed me a bit of experience. Granted, we're getting experience a bit quicker now. I think it's just because we're not finding like a lot of level 20, 22s. Seriously, they're all like level 28 now. Bit of a quick jump up in, in uh, difficulty. Okay, so I guess the plan, uh, Grabber's a bit too weak. I, I don't think Grabber's gonna do it, so Moopy! I'm gonna slam it! Pajama Slammer! I don't say pajama, we'll say pajamas here in Australia. Oh, come on! At least mine was a crit, but at the same time, oh, oh, this isn't gonna end well. Why? Why? If it misses, it shouldn't mirror move. This is not gonna end well. Actually, seismic toss. Seismic toss is just gonna win it because uh, I can do 28 damage just hit it straight up. Bam. There you go. Oh, Grabber's level 28. Because Grabber's a little bit lower level, but then again, he's also the strongest dude here. Okay, so I guess with that, I'm gonna keep heading down here, because... Oh my gosh. So many Pokemon trains. So many trains. Why do they do this? <laughs> okay. I'll see you guys next time. I'm gonna head down this route. See you then.